Right, so hey guys, and welcome back to episode two of What Should I Buy? This is basically um track car edition, but it's not. It's it's more of a it, yeah. It is a track car, but it's not track toy cars. It's not like there's like BAC Mono or anything. So basically, this is gonna be. Hot hat, uh, no, hot hatch, what man about? <laughs> um, track cars edition, then in brackets, expensive. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, um, basically, this car bought so much, what's, uh, five. The best. Ha oh god. Oh god. Sorry, guys. <laughs> uh, it was the best handling car. By far, the best handling car you could buy. And literally, I took this corner flat. That corner flat, where in most corner you, in most cars you have to brake. You have to brake and not be on the accelerator going through the corner. Didn't touch the brakes, basically. Just full on the throttle. Yeah, I messed up this because I haven't driven the car before. Uh, on this game. And I sort of got the hang of it. And how much I could lean it through corners. Um, and how fast it was. Because this car is fast. Don't get me wrong, it's fast because it's really light. Oh yeah, I put it down to first there because I wanted to see like where the biting point was. It's at first and second. Whoopsie. I'm gonna put that on the controller actually, I think. Honestly, um, I thought I braked too soon, and then got back on the power. Realised, no, I think that's perfect. <laughs> so I run the corner a little bit wide, but it was dream going through some of these corners. You can just really power. You just get down the power on this car, and it's amazing. I do like the gearbox quite a lot. Some gears are crunch, some gears, um, some gears I just completely mess up. I sort of messed that one up quite badly. This corner, oh no, that was not good. <laughs> And coming down the straight, mess up a gear. Nothing too bad. First lap done. Doesn't bother me. Coming up to this uh, corner. Turning in quite hard. Get a little bit of a drift on. Flat out through here, but I had to change gear because I had that little bit of a drift. So. I proper slowed down for here and it just completely threw me about and didn't like it whatsoever. As soon as you let off from this car, it basically reacts as a front wheel drive car without stiffened suspension. Basically, as soon as you let, uh, let off, it the rear end comes in if you try and corner. Basically, it's like an F1 car as well, you just need the speed. If you have insane, insane speed, you can just carry corners like that. I was probably doing about 90 there, I'm just completely flat through there. Run this corner perfect. Mm. 
messed up my gear, I'm sorry. <laughs> Sometimes you can't help it. Yeah, I was, like, being a little bit cocky. Oh yeah, and just to say, I don't use mods when I'm doing this. Like, in-game mods, obviously, I don't mod. Um, because I normally run, like, 16% better breaks and like minus three grip because i have like a dare where you have like nine percent less grip and something ridiculous like i i don't know but it, it i've just taken them off because it'd be unfair otherwise honestly guys this car is proper proper fast and i don't know the money for, uh, i don't know the cash for it but i will put it on screen now i feel like it's quite a lot but not a lot not as much as, i'm not on the brakes here guys don't worry it's just the lights came on um so yeah that was basically the uh, for, uh ferrari 360 um not even gonna say the next uh, challenge. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Ferrari uh, 360 CS. That's what I'm just gonna call it. That's what its short name is. Um, see you in a second, guys. When the next car is done. Alright, so guys, I'm real back. Um, this drag is amazing. I love it. It's got big ass brakes. But it sort of handles like a boat. This is the Jag um, XKR S GT. Um, price in game is 180,000 credits. Um, basically, you buy this car because it might not be amazing, amazing around the corners. But once it gets to the straight, it blows all of those Ferraris away. Honestly, this thing is fucking fast. Excuse my French, but these are extreme fast. So if you, <laughs> I'm getting a little bit sideways there. Um, if you want a V8 supercharged menacing track car that is actually pretty good at handling you just it's just not as good as a ferrari get this the ferrari uh, 360 challenge stradardale or whatever i think that's how you say it it's 170 grand i believe or 180 they're both around that mark i know this is 180 um i pretty sure it's 170 for a Ferrari. Um, oh god guys, ambulance outside, that scared the crap out of me, I thought it stopped. Because I, oh, I, I just saw blue lights on my wall, I just thought there was a police car that just stepped outside. Um, basically, this car is more of a fun car completely fucked up this corner um this car is purpose built for fun because you can get it sideways a little bit as you can see while i put it down to first coming around this next corner completely go off track completely This car was fast, but I fucked up that lap so hard. <laughs> but I'm glad to say I did bring that time down a lot. And I mean like, a lot. Did 
just hear me do that? I just completely forgot to change gear. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh my god, look at that drift. I don't know why I just did that. I can't understand why I got this car so sideways. Oh wait, yeah, because it's a Jag and it's got a V8 and it's got a supercharger and it's fun. Literally taking that corner at 90 like I did and in the Ferrari drifting. So, yeah. I think it's a little bit fun. So that corner perfectly. Honestly, if you don't believe me about uh, speed, I was hitting like 150 down the straights in the Ferrari. I was hitting around 170 in this, so... brakes aren't that bad I basically broke really early then got back on the power for about 50 foot uh, feet sorry and then was like nope braking Sideways action. Always fun. Yeah, this car. It's just pure fun. I can't. I just can't express it that much. It's just pure fun. I was like, shit, stop drifting. I really need to get a good time. Stop drifting. <laughs> And across the line. Basically, the Ferrari 360 challenge for a Dar delay or whatever it is. Priced, priced at 170,000 credits. Did it in 2 minutes 36.9 tenth. So Basically a ninth of a second. The Jaguar XFR S GT priced at 180,000 credits um, did a two minute 30 7.390 Honestly guys if I didn't drift as much in both cars, I would have got a much better time, and the Jag probably would have beaten it if I wasn't being a hooligan around like three corners, like the fifth, sixth corner, um, leading up to the straight. I was getting a little bit sideways, and like the second corner into that, I took it. I was like, could have stopped myself from going sideways. But I didn't want to because it's a jag. So yeah. Personally, I would buy the Ferrari because it's better at handling. It's got amazing brakes. But if you just want a menacing car with a big V8 with a supercharger, get the jag because it's a jag. You can't, you can't express it. Jags are a jag, and jags are better than like the majority of things that can sound. So yeah, that's all I can say. So if you guys did enjoy this, make sure you smash that like button because it takes me a long time to edit and make these videos. So it would always help. So peace. Bye.